Let's take a look at the Christian values of the GOP. You know, what would would, would Jesus want to give people health care? Would he want to extend that? Would he want to send migrants in 18 degree weather to people's houses? Would he deny people an increase in minimum wage? Would Jesus deny people seeking asylum? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think something in the Bible talked, you know, talked about peace and love. Would Jesus bomb countries and have 800 military bases around the world? If Jesus is all about war and the rich, would Jesus cut taxes? for people who don't need tax cuts. You know, always continuously, uh, you know, chopping off the, the estate tax, lowering that corporate tax. Actually, in this last bill, the omnibus bill, there was a tax cut for wealthy retirees. Obviously, we know the Democratic Party is right on board with that too. But, you know, it's always funny when either party, but especially the Republican Party, claims that they're so on board for Jesus, and yet everything they do is the complete antithesis of what Jesus would. Buses carrying nearly 150 migrants that arrived in Washington, D.C. on Christmas Eve, dropping them off in frigid temperatures near the home of Vice President Kamala Harris. Texas Governor Greg Abbott was behind that move. So over this past weekend, Texas Governor Greg Abbott showed just how concerned he is about the migrants and showed just how deep his Christian values run by shipping them to Kamala Harris's residence in freezing cold temperatures. So let's read over this. Several busloads of migrants were dropped off in front of Vice President Kamala Harris's residence in Washington, D.C. on Christmas Eve in 18 degree weather late Saturday. An initial two bus loads were taken to shelters, according to an administration official. More buses arrived outside the vice president's residence later Saturday evening. We're going to take a look at just how ridiculous it is that these people always claim that they're such great Christians. Abbott said, we have a president of the United States that is not securing the border, which is true. There are issues at the border, but obviously shipping people in freezing temperatures is not the way to go about securing the border. It's just culture war tactics to hype up the base. Just take us back to that, those moments, please, and what some of these migrants were saying to you and what sort of conditions did they face? Sure, as many of us know, it was frigid that night. And once they got to our respite center, they were so incredibly thankful. And it was really alarming to see how they came in. Many were just wearing t-shirts. Some of them had blankets that you can see in some of the video, but those blankets were incredibly thin. Some people didn't even have shoes on, just double layers of thick socks that were donated to them at some point during their journey. So it was really quite alarming to see that political leaders have dumped them on the side of the road Christmas Eve in 18 degree weather, knowing that they're not dressed for this weather. One of the things I was talking about on uh, the damage report the other day actually was that even though Republicans typically respond to issues like this in very cruel manners, the fact that the Democratic Party doesn't address these issues properly either always leaves room open for people to go over to the Republican Party and vote in elections because we only have two viable parties. We have third parties, but as we all know, with one vote in every election, there's really no way for us to get a third party into any type of significant power at any level of government. This is just how these types of things go down. And the Democrats, when they continuously don't go as hard as they can, whether it be in you know immigration, wages, trade issues, domestic reduction, anything, they always open up gates for the Republican Party to take Ws.